Visual planning helps me as a planner to visualize the assortments and plan by viewing the actual assortment with images of styles and colors. The ability to view images is associated with the attributes and style colors is critical for planning. I can use the visual planning capability to create, analyze, and modify the plans as the visualization can reduce the time required for analysis. There are four sections. Section 1 contains the filters for the product calendar and location dimension hierarchies. Section 2 displays the available options subview. It contains all the available options represented in the form of a card view depending on the selection criteria. Section 3 displays the assorted options subview. It contains all the options that are included in the assortment represented in the form of the card view depending on the selection criteria. I can also now work with card sizes. The cards are seen in the list view here. Then, the cards are seen as thumbnails here. If more than one size is configured for the cards, then an icon to select card size will be visible. Another great feature is card definitions. They contain different measures or attributes to help me make better decisions while selecting options in the planning process. The app configurer can define more card definitions for a card view using configuration tools so that more attributes and measures are visible to me in a structured way. If only one card definition is available, the drop-down list will not be visible. For example, in Available Options, in the Card Definition Status, I can see measures Status, Retail, and Cost Value. In the Card Definition Attributes, I can see three attributes and their values. In the Assorted Options area, I want to focus on the sales plan to see that the items that I've put in the assorted list meet a certain sales plan criteria. And so this sales plan card definition is configured to show sales units recommended, sales retail and sales cost values, and allows me to edit the sales unit and sales U variance recorded. Section 4 displays the total summary subview. This subview is dependent on the assorted options subview. It provides an overall summary of the assorted options with respect to budgets, target receipts, target margins, and so on. I know which sweater I want to add to the assorted options, so I will click the plus sign to move it over. I'll click on the drop-down list and return to Assorted. Here I can assign a flow and continue with my work. I can also delete any of the cards by clicking the X icon. I can see all of these changes happen immediately in the user interface. To help me make my decisions, I like to refer to the total summary in Section 4. It provides an overall summary of the assorted options with respect to budgets, target receipts, target margins, and so on. As I add or remove the options, I can dynamically see the impact on my targets when I click on Calculate and immediately know how much work I need to achieve the targets. At any time, I can click on the filter icons and enter text in the filter text box. I'm happy with what I saw, so I'm going to clear the filter. I can sort the tiles based on attributes by selecting the desired attribute from Sort by Pick List. I will select Color as this can help me to review my assortment and see if I have the right amount of black or heather gray. 